I spoke with the Olive Tree to see what's all needed with their Thanksgiving meal coming up. Joining me is Jana Thompson with the Olive Tree. How are you today? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm doing very good. So Thanksgiving weekend is coming up here. Can you tell us what food items is needed at the Olive Tree at the moment? Yeah, obviously we need our basic pantry items, um, things specific to Thanksgiving or more. All the fixings, so all the pickles, the butter, the milk, all of those little things, cranberry sauce that kind of make it extra special. Um, we loved getting that. We also are really short on single serve items right now just for our school kind of support program. So things like fruit cups, cereal, um, peanut butter and jam, stuff like that that we can send out, that's also really needed right now in the food bank. And with COVID-19 this year, has it been tough to get donations more? It is a little bit harder. Um, we're so thankful for our community. Every time we usually put something out, they just try and step up and donate. Um, so that has been amazing. It is a little harder right now um, just to be able to keep up with the demand of food. And we only see that kind of getting worse over the winter months and into the spring. And do you think the olive tree will get lots of support for the holidays this year? I'm hoping so. <laughs> Um, again, every year before this, it has been amazing. Our community has really stepped up to provide Christmas campers. So that's coming up. Um, we're doing clothes for kids right now during the holiday season to supply winter gear for kids in the school that may not have it. Um, and some of the other Christmas things like the toy collection and everything like that. So we're hoping that it hasn't changed, but we do understand that a lot of people are in a hard spot right now. And uh, we're just thankful for any support that we get right now. And how has the olive tree been keeping up with safety precautions with, with also Thanksgiving coming up this weekend, but also with the normally community meals, of course? Yeah, so how it kind of looks right now is we are still limiting our capacity just so we can safely social distance, um, allow the outreach workers that are kind of on the floor to make sure things are being sanitized and wiped down. Um, masks are recommended if you can't social distance. Um, there's a lot of different things in place. For Thanksgiving specifically, we do have tickets that you have to have to, in order to enter. Um, that's the only way we could kind of do it to enable us to be able to provide a safety aspect and then count the numbers that we can have in there. So if you are interested in coming, please give us a call um, or stop by the thrift store and you can grab, pick up a ticket to join us. Is there anything different the Olive Tree plans to do this year due to the pandemic? I think we're just playing it by year. I think that's a lot of people um, trying to make sure that obviously all of our staff, our volunteers, and our guests are all safe when they attend our programming. Um, our limited capacity is still in place, so just so we can have that kind of social distance environment. Um, and other than that, all of our programming is at full force. Um, our seniors luncheon, our community meals, our mom's program, uh, men's coffee, all of those things are proceeding and the food bank is very busy. Um, so we're just making sure that we have all those safety aspects as we're just health in place. And what exactly are the ticket times? For so our ticket times this year are 4.30 to 5.30. So that's our first sitting. And then our second sitting is from six to seven. So we had a little gap in there just so we can sanitize everything, reset everything um, and just get it ready to go. Is there anything else you wanna add for residents to know about? Uh, no, we're just so thankful for the support that we, again, receive all the time. Um, if you think of us when you're out shopping and you want to pick up some school supplies or anything like that that we can uh, distribute, that's amazing. For Thanksgiving, we just want to say thank you. We've had so many calls and um, just offers of support in that. It's been amazing. We've purchased quite a lot, so lots of people have been donating monetary funds towards it. And then all the little fixings and stuff you want to pick up, it would be greatly appreciated. Perfect. So thank you so much for joining me today, Jana. Yeah, thanks for having me.